Airbus is in the final phase of obtaining certification for its long-range Airbus A321 XLR aircraft, a model that promises to revolutionize the transcontinental flight market. The conclusion of this aircraft's certification by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency is just around the corner, and it appears that Airbus has done everything to ensure that this aircraft will begin commercial operations by the third quarter of 2024. In fact, the Spanish airline Iberia recently published a video on its channels showing its eagerness to be the launch customer for the aircraft and start flying it. Meanwhile, the manufacturer has prioritized safety and implemented significant technical modifications during its development, providing this information to all future aircraft operators. Airlines looking to operate longer routes with lower operating costs, such as connecting Europe with the United States East Coast, are positioning the A321 XLR as a key solution due to its greater range and efficiency. The A321 XLR features several technical innovations, such as a new fuel system and aerodynamic improvements. These modifications require extensive technical documentation for type certification, which operators have been informed about throughout the process, ensuring that all aspects of safety and operability are covered. Type certification entails creating a complete set of Instructions for Continued Airworthiness, ICAs, documents that are critical for the aircraft's safe maintenance and operation throughout its service life. The certification process has included a rigorous flight test and operational evaluation campaign. These tests have been conducted in collaboration with various airlines to ensure that the A321XLR meets the highest safety and performance standards. Test flights have been essential for collecting data and adjusting any technical aspects that need improvement before entering service. Thanks to the A321XLR's maximum range of up to 8,700 kilometers, airlines can now cover transatlantic routes nonstop, previously unfeasible for single-aisle aircraft. This opens new market opportunities for airlines and provides greater operational flexibility and cost efficiency. The aircraft's design incorporates an integrated rear central fuel tank, enabling more fuel and greater autonomy. Airbus has worked closely with its customers to ensure a smooth transition when the A321 XLR enters service, which, according to Airbus CEO Guillaume Fauri, could happen at any moment. This includes preparing technical support, ensuring spare parts availability, and providing operational training for crews. Airbus and airlines must collaborate continuously to meet all operational and maintenance needs from day one. Now, do you think Airbus will be a safe aircraft to fly because of its fuel tank placements? Let us know in the comments. We bring you some good information on aerospace. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel.